Welcome back everyone to another Coach Booker video. Today we're going to be looking at a Diego jungle. I believe this is gold and a guest star. I'm in this game. Um, this is one of my alts. Well, it's not really an alt. It's, like, it's, just, it's just a Smurf account that I play on. Um, but this is one of my accounts. So I'm in this game too. So this player wants to know what they could have done better uh, during this game. They want to know how they could have played fights better. So let's just kind of go through and see what we're doing. So we're a Diego and Takane. And so uh, one thing that you want to know is that Kane likes to farm, and he definitely farms way faster than you as a Viego. So you want to look to kind of make more plays while Kane's trying to farm. Um, and you want to make sure that he doesn't counter gank you when you're going for those ganks. So you want to make sure it's kind of uncontested because he's very good at counter ganking. He's just not that great at starting him most of the time. Um, we have a Mordekaiser top into Timo. We have a Yasuo into Akshan. We have a Misfortune and Tarek into a Yumi and Kaisa. So pretty much all your lanes should win what you could do is just help out top lane a little bit but you know you could really just kind of chill out and all your lanes kind of automatically win if upshot never gets stepped out of line you could just go gank them and then as far as uh top lane goes if uh teemo gets out of line you could just gank them you're not gonna be able to get any ganks off of bot lane as we just seen that's not a lane you can gank it's yumi usually when you're playing against the yumi you're not going to be able to have prio in that lane so um i mean the the Yumi and the Kai'Sa, like they shouldn't have Pryo as a Yumi because it's basically one champion when she's on people. Um, so we get a little scuffle here. Your team then starts to rotate, I believe. They do. A little late. Late rotations on kind of both teams, honestly. Um, if my team would have rotated quicker, you would have got killed there. So you want to keep in mind that with the Pryos. Um, this guy was a game from my last game, so he was already tilted and he already didn't like me, which is why he wasn't like moving that often. But you have to be careful taking fights like this, because the reason why I took that fight was because my team can rotate quicker than yours. So when you are taking the fight with the jungler 1v1, you want to make sure that that is the case. Because you see how fast Yumi was able to get to me before your team got to me? And like I said, if Uxion would have just started moving instantly, this whole fight would have been done. So when you are taking these little skirmishes, make sure that you are looking at your lane prio. Make sure that you know for a fact who's going to rotate, who won't rotate, and that you can actually win that fight. Okay? Always what you want to do. So let me just add this. Um, when fighting or invading, oops. always pay attention to your laners. And if slash win, they will rotate. This isn't this isn't just scrapping in like the river with the other jungler. This goes for any fights. So any fights in general, that is what you want to be thinking about. Even if it's like 30 minutes in. 30 minutes in, you have a fight 3v3 right here, and you know that there's somebody made. You need to be paying attention to seeing if they're rotating. Because it lets you know how long that fight could last before they get there. Alright, let's keep going. So you're doing your thing farming. Again, like I said, your lane should kind of just already be winning. I pop up again. Just checking on you. Okay, we see mid going for a gank here. You already know that you just seen Kane. So you have to be, again, very cautious about things like this. Like, I easily could have popped out earlier and done something about that. But, like I said, you know... Me and him didn't see eye to eye from the previous game, so we basically were like F each other this entire game. <laughs> Look, if it was my main account, I wouldn't act like that. But dude, that guy made me mad. So, you know, we're both just like screw each other. We, we were acting like that this entire game. But if this was a real game, you have to be careful. Remember, Kane can counter gank. If he counter ganks you, it will turn the gank upside down. It doesn't really matter, honestly. If any jungler counter ganks you, like it could turn the gank upside down. So just be very cautious. So we'll write that down too. When forcing games, oops. Make sure you have eyes on the enemy jungler so they don't counter gank. And when we say we're forcing ganks, we mean ganks that we have to actually do things for. Whereas let's just say, you know, um, for example, let me get out my little uh, etcher sketch. Do, 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 do. Okay, here we go. So for example, let's just say, and I opened up a web page. Bear with me now. Let's just say 
uh, Kaisa and Yumi were shoved up to. What is going on with my marker? Kaisa and Yumi were shoved up here. You literally could just walk in. This isn't a force, right? But let's just say they were somewhere right here. And you had to come in and flash and do all that extra stuff. That's more of a force. So when you're going to force ganks like that, you have to make sure the enemy jungler is not there. Because if they counter gank a force gank, you're probably going to lose. That's just how it works. If they counter gank one that's not really force, you, you, you might be all right. So this is just a lot of time being wasted. You don't really want to waste that much time. I know you're looking for this drag, but you got camp spawning. You should definitely hit level six because you should be aware that Kane will be level six before you. So you need to make sure you're on par hitting level six. If you can hit level six first before any plays, you're good to go. So we want to stop wasting time with, with plays like this because you're trying to force too much. The plays will fall in line. We already know that the enemy laners are low. This play, you know, you don't have to force so hard. You can technically just call it right now and you'd be good to go. But like I said, you're not six. So if, you know, push comes to shove and you have to fight, you straight up just lose. So you have to be careful. Luckily you weren't punished for that, but you definitely could have been punished really, really hard for that play. Okay, now we're going for dragon. Again, your camps are all up. I could take all your camps. I think I just try to fight you though. Yeah. You see how kind of nobody rotates? I hate it. But as you see, you, you actually just got punished. I don't remember doing that to you, but you did get punished for it. Um, I guess I did it because I knew that nobody was helping you and it was going to be a long dragon because it's mountain. But you don't want to prioritize objectives like this until we clear our camps. If you don't clear your camps and you put too much priority on these objectives, your camps won't level up. In turn, you will be behind. Every time you kill a camp, it does level. So you're going to be behind the more you do stuff like that. Like, like I said, this game could have been a lot harder for you. As you see, you're level 5 and I'm level 7. This game would have been a lot harder for you if my teammate wasn't walking around trolling and if my Akshan and I actually played as a team. But because both of those teammates were trolling out of their minds, you know, this game was a lot easier for you. But that's what you want to think about. Just because, like, even if I wasn't in this game, the fact that someone gets this high a level on you should mean a lot to you. It means you need to really, really um, step your game up so that way you can get in the levels with the enemy jungler. Because the last thing you want to do is be behind as a jungle. Yeah. And again, it's the same type of thing. There's really no play to be made here. Right? Remember, we had to think about who's going to rotate first. Your Yasuo's here, and your Mordekaiser's the only one that can rotate for you. We have Ukshan and we have Teemo. That's a 3v1, or 3v2 on that crab. It's not a crab you can go for. Again, like I said, you know, they were, we, we just all, we didn't see eye to eye. And Yasuo kind of cleaned up everything that you did. All the mistakes that kind of happened for your gameplay, your teammates cleaned up on it. So it's kind of hard to know the mistakes that you make when you have games like that. Every jungler has games like that, not just you. I've had games like that too, you know, where you don't really particularly perform well, but because your team kind of cleans up the messes that you make, it kind of it kind of works out for you. This is a good invade. We know that I was topside, I just killed Mordekaiser. Yasuo is rotating with you, another good invade. I don't know if you guys are duo, but that was like really solid work. They're looking for a dive, they already died, so you don't go for it. Okay, you're clearing your camps, making your way towards top to that fight. You tried, you couldn't make it, you just had to turn back. Pretty, pretty, pretty all good. I mean, pretty much good. You collect the wave. Yep. Now we are pathing to the opposite side of the dragon. Um, your team technically is stronger, so you guys can have dragon whenever you want, no matter what. So this is the fight that we take. I actually want to watch that back because I was really curious on why they didn't help me. I am like really curious. I know this is your replay, but like, come on. I just want to know. Like, why is she not auto attacking? Like, what are, what are they doing? 
Bro. <laughs> I hated my team. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> anyway, the fight turned out good, like I said. Um, you do have the stronger bot side because your Yasuo is like massive right now. So you want to play around that Yasuo as much as possible. That's going to be the guy to win you their fights. I think Mordekaiser gets big as well eventually. But yeah, those are the two that you want to play too. So you recall, we just want to farm it up, look for the next dragon, farm next to our team if we can so that we can be around for stuff like this. So let's just say, you know, there's something that's happening around mid. Obviously, you don't want to just sit and wait, but you have your wolves up. You can go ahead and farm those while this is happening so you're, you're closer to the action. Right? Same thing if like your whole team's grouping up towards top. If your whole team's grouping up towards top, you farming Gromp is way better than you farming Raptors or Krugs or even Wolves because if something does happen top and you need to be there, you're already there. This goes for like mid game, which we're in right now. Okay? So I'll actually write that down for you too. Farm um, near farm. Oops, my bad. Farm camps near your teammates if a fight is about to break out or if it just looks like a fight's about to break out you know it might not break out who knows but i'd rather you be around the vicinity instead of like something happening like that and you couldn't impact it even though you could have had like free kills if you would have impacted okay let's get back to the game you go for the kill real smooth she was overextended she got killed for it well played go back to farming we're wasting time now your teammates can hold them. There you go. Good, 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 good. Now you want to look to make a play for that Rift Herald. You see your teammates already up there? You got to get up there too because if a fight breaks out over here and you're not there, you're wasting the lead that you have. Well, you're not really that big, but you know, you do have some gold in your pants. Um, we want to play up there to get this Rift Herald. We shouldn't be down here. We want to play for objectives, always for objectives, dragons, rift heralds, especially when your team is ahead like this, you can force these objectives and make us fight you. If we have to fight you and we lose, then, you know, it's all yours. I think your team actually does show up eventually. Oh, but we got the, the, the rift and that could have been yours. But for some reason, we walk down to then walk back up, right? I don't know if we were too busy looking for me or what, but... Um... What happened to you? Oh, you died. But that shouldn't have been what we were doing. Once again, we play for objectives, especially when our team is fed. So always look to play for the timers of rifts, dragons, barons. You're a jungler. That's all you're useful for, really. That's all you're useful for. So although you were dead, um, your team, once again, kind of just cleans up the mess for you when you relate to the party and this is something that I tell you know everybody that I coach it's not just because I'm in the game I say the same thing because you're in lower elos a lot of the things that people in low elo tend to do even though it's bad they don't realize it's bad because it works Right? The fact that you're never at Dragons or Rift Heralds, but your team always gets them, you feel like, you know, not like I have to be there. But realistically, that should be your goal every day in game. It should be, I'm always there, I'm always there, I'm always there. Even though my team is like Bonobos, um, I'm always on those objectives as much as possible. I'm always in more fights as much as possible because I'm trying to be there for my team. That's the same thing that you want to do, especially when your team is ahead. Okay, so we're farming out. This is this is what I mean. Farm near the action. This is good. This is very good. Farm near that action. Just in case you also got caught there, you could help. Okay. Now there's a bunch of stuff happening here. Now I know the pathing automatically has you in this area, but we want to not steer from raptors if we go clear it. We want to hang around. Hey, you know, down bot to stop Timo. Okay. Recall it, and we should just play for the Baron. Again, this is very good. I like that you went up here, but I would like to know that you went up here not because your camp was spawning, but because you had action. 
So I'm not gonna say that's what you did, but I'm just gonna say, you usually do wanna go to the side that's gonna be probably having action. Don't just go to where your camps are and your team is just randomly fighting. There's an objective here, they're up here, I might as well go up here too, just to make some stuff happen. So it's good, it's good that you came up here, but just, you know, make sure that uh, it's for the right reasons. Oh, then we forfeited there. That game tilted me, I think. But I wanna know what happened in this fight too. Was my team just not there? Or am I tripping? I felt like another time where they didn't help. But I could be griefing. No, I'm not griefing. They literally are doing the same thing that they did before. Bro, that team tilted me. Okay, anyway, this is you. <laughs> You're like, coach, this is my VOD review. What are you doing? Look, your VOD was over, okay? I'm just saying. I wanted to see why I was being tilted, and we figured out why. My team hated me. Um, okay. So the main thing that I think is, like, the most important is... Uh, definitely number two and number four. But you can't be a jungler and not trying to not fighting for timers and when forcing ganks you know you just really got to make sure that you're not going to be counter ganked i feel like a lot of this game you know there's a lot of things you didn't have to do because your team did it for you you're not always going to have those games especially when it's a hard game you have to do all the work and if these aren't if these are things that you're not paying attention to you're just going to lose flat out lose because nobody else on your team is paying attention to it which means it has to be you so Anyway, hope this helped. If you got any questions, of course, let me know. Um, if any of you guys would like your VODs um, done or you guys would like coaching, coachbucket.com, of course, is where you want to go. Thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. Have a good rest of your day and night, wherever you guys are from. Thank you for approaching this. I like a coach.